overflows, death-like state and transcendence. One wonders how the mind can be transcended and transformed only by bringing the body to a death-like state. Human mind remains constantly active. While mind is active, meditation becomes impossible because meditation means a deep state of inactivity. You can know yourself only when everything has become still, silent and quiet. Only then, in that silence, you come to encounter yourself Otherwise, in activity, you are so much occupied with something or the other that you cannot feel your own presence. You go on forgetting yourself continuously with this or that object. You go on forgetting yourself. Activity means being related to something outside. You are active because you are related with objects and beings outside. Inactivity means you have returned home. You are not doing anything. In Greek language, leisure is called a school. The English word school comes from this Greek word. School means leisure. You can learn something only when you are at leisure, relaxed. Learning happens in leisure. If you are active doing this and that, you cannot learn. It is significant that this Greek word is used for English word schools. His schools were for leisure class. Those who could afford leisure, their children were sent to schools, to places of leisure. They, can, they were not to do anything but learn. They were allowed total inactivity as far as the world was concerned, they were freed from all worldly activity and then they could learn. This is why in Upanishads and even Buddha had told his monks that you have to be around this atmosphere for a certain period of time doing nothing. And then if I feel, I will explain to you about your questions. When you are in a state of inactivity, you learn. But when you are constantly active, mind is active, the process of learning does not happen. The phenomena is similar if you want to learn about your own presence, you will have to be completely inactive. Completely inactive, just being, not doing anything. All the ripples must cease, all activities must evaporate. You are, simply you are. In that moment, for the first time, you become aware of your own presence. Sometimes you know it, and most of the time, it happens without your knowing, and the process of transformation continues. Why? Because the presence is so subtle, occupied with a gross object, Engaged with gross activity, you cannot become aware of such a subtle presence. It is like a very silent music, your presence. 
and you are so much filled with outside noise and every type of noise is occupying you that you cannot hear that is still a small voices going on within. Human mind remains engaged in outward noises and activities. Then that is still a small voice for the first time is heard. That soundless sound, that soundless music is left. That is why Zen uses the phrase, have you listened to the clap of one hand? It is referring to that soundless sound. You enter the subtle and leave the gross. Activity is gross, inactivity is subtle and your presence is the most subtle thing in the world. To feel that, you have to cease. You have to be absent from everywhere so that your total presence comes in and you can encounter yourself. That is why in many techniques it is suggested to make your body as if it is dead. When the body is still, the mind naturally begins still, silent. It means simply being inactive like a dead man. Why are you meditating? While you are meditating, let your body enter death. It will be imagination, but even that will help. Do not ask how imagination can help. Imagination has its own function. For example, now scientific experiments are done. You sit down, there is a doctor and he is observing your pulse, your pulse rate. Inside, you just start being angry. You imagine that you are fighting, angry, your pulse rate will go higher. Inside, just imagine you are dying, that you are just going to die, become silent and feel death descending on you. Your pulse rate will come down. The pulse rate is a physical activity and you were just imagining. Imagination is not unreal. It is also real. If you can really imagine, even real death can occur. If you can really imagine, you can affect physical things around you. You might have observed some display of hypnosis or if not, you can do this easily at home. It is not difficult. It is very easy. Use your child as the medium. If the child is a girl, it is better than using a boy because a boy is more doubting than a girl and a boy is always in a fighting mood instead of a cooperative mood. A boy means that a fighting mood. Cooperation is needed. Just tell the child to relax and go on suggesting. You are going into a deep trance, going into a deep trance, going into a deep trance, falling asleep. Your eyelids are becoming heavy, heavy, heavier. And use a monotonous voice, heavier, heavier, heavier. Let your voice be monotonous and as, as if you are also becoming 
sleepy. When you become sleepy, your voice becomes heavier and heavier. Within five minutes, the child will fall asleep. This is not ordinary sleep. This is hypnotic sleep. In yoga, it is called yoga nidra. It is basically qualitatively different from sleep because now the child can hear only your voice. There is nothing else that he or she can hear. If some, someone else talks, the child is deaf to that. If you talk, the person who has hypnotized him, he can still hear. He will follow your orders. Try to do some other experiments. Say to the child, this is a burning hot coal that I am putting on your hand and you will be burned. Put any ordinary thing in the child's hand, a piece of a stone that is cold with nothing hot about it. The child will throw it immediately because the mind has the suggestion that it is a burning coal, hot, and that his or her hand is going to be burnt. He will throw it. He will scream as if he has touched a hot, something hot, but the miracle happens. If you come to know that his hand is really burnt, what is happening? There is no possibility of being burned by a cold stone, cold stone. But the child is burned exactly as if there was a burning coal put on his hand. It was just imagination. That's why those who have generated the human mind those who have, that is why those who have penetrated the human mind, they say that imagination is as real a fact as anything. Imagination is not just imagination because it results in actual fact. You can do many experiments. Fall down on the ground, lie still and feel you are going to die. The body is becoming dead. By and by you will feel a heaviness coming over the body. The whole body will become a dead weight, a dead, a dead weight. Tell your body that even if I want to remove my hand from the position where it is, I cannot move it. Then try to remove it and you will not be able to do so. Now the imagination is working. In this state where you feel your body has come, has become a dead weight, you can cut yourself off from the world of activities easily. That is why this is suggested. You can now become inactive because you are dead. Now you can feel that everything has died and the bridge from you to the world is broken. The body is a bridge. If the body is dead, you cannot do anything. Can you do anything without the body? You cannot do anything without the body. So body and mind are connected to one another. Enough for